So we're at uh, Old Oz, and this is their annual beer garden. So I'm here, and uh, look, they're, they're uh, smoking uh, the uh, some sort of uh, tuna or something with uh, rice. And we're gonna buy tickets here and check out the place. I didn't feel much last night. Drank too much, and now we're at a stable and with the kids. Beautiful, I love it. Sup, buddy? Sup up. Hey. Sup, buddy? How you doing? Hey, yeah. How you doing? Yeah, good boy. I just, yeah, make sure they don't go behind the horses. Yeah, yeah you don't go behind horses, right? Do you understand that, Tom, Mikey, right? Thanks. Tell them in Japanese, you don't go behind the horse. You don't go, ever, you always approach a horse in the front, never in Oshiri, because he will kick you really hard. Hontoni. And Shinda. Mm. Oh, you know that. Look at this. Oh, let's check this out. What? What do you call it? Uh, horse a horse fly. flies on him. Uh, okay, come on, let's go. Go down here. Tommy, you gonna ride first? You got the cowboy. Huh? Tommy, you gonna ride this horse. What, they're scared of the horse? The horses. The horse is scared of these. That's not a very good horse. There are three, three more horses here, but... Look at, look at my dog just going, walking behind all the time. <laughs> cute little cow. You little cow. You cute little cow. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Mikey? You gonna go next? You wanna ride next? You wanna ride the horse? No? Why? Are you scared? Are you scared? Why are you scared? Your brother's not scared. Why are you scared? Huh? You can ride He's scared, this. is he? He doesn't wanna ride. Seriously? Hmm. Are you sure, Mikey? You can ride it. Feel. Feel. No? He's ignoring it. Walk towards it. There you go. Oi! Oi! What's that? <laughs> what do you think, Tommy? Was that fun? Yeah? <laughs> Mikey. Did you get that? Huh? Did you get that? You got on. Yeah. What's your name they got? My wife's. Huh? My wife's. In uh, Japan, but in America they got mine. It's all rotten. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. yeah. There's Mikey riding like a real pro. Look at my dog keeps following them around and round. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one working here. How you like it, Mikey? Good. Fun. What should I? Try kicking with your heel, Mikey. <laughs> Get it going. So, I'd set up the tent and I'd bought all this extra gear. Like, I've got, I don't know if you can see down here, but there is blue tarp underneath. So the tent's actually sitting on a blue tarp, which is supposed to be waterproof. I put down some bubble wrap underneath to help protect even though it wasn't big enough I should have bought a bigger roll and just cut into shape um, I even put down a blanket over the you know or bubble wrap over, over that and um, ultimately still got wet and when I woke up this morning Mikey's head was basically in that puddle you see that wet puddle there Mikey's head was there. There's Mikey sleeping. There's Tommy sweet sleeping. So I've been trying to waterproof this stupid tent and it's driving me crazy. You can see the, the sheet I put underneath. It's the only problem is, and this is actually brick laid down with just a little bit of grass on the side. So I'm going to 
pull this down, try to find some place to let it dry out. The, and oh, if I didn't have a futon mattress, we got, I brought this futon mattress with me, then it would have been really wet. You see the black futon mattress in there? So on my side here, it's actually wet on there. I don't know, you know what? That I think you can see the line of wetness in the video here. Yeah. But it's just beautiful here. And we're in this microclimate valley up in the mountains. You know, I think if you're going to brace for the end of the world, I think this is where you want to be. Zoom in on a map of Shikoku, which is the island southern of Honshu, and you'll see why. Literally, this island is just mountains, and we go up in the mountains. Like yesterday, I was up in the mountains, and it was, you know, with um, Tokunaga, which is my teacher, and it was raining, and then um, today... And on our way back, it hadn't rained at all here. One of the cool things about here, where we camped, and now this is not an official campsite. We just pitched our tent here, which is not you can't do in most places in Japan. One of the nice reasons is in proximity of the of of the location is the toilet system. And I always like to use basically the handicap toilet system. Why? Because it's spacious and. You know, it has the seating toilet. A lot of times they have actually the power toilets. Actually they do. It's right here. See this power toilet? This is very expensive. There's a $2,000 toilet sitting right here, unlocked. You know, there's nothing like having a gentle warm spray of hot water on your private parts. To make, it's kind of like having a cup of coffee. It's a little bit too hard. <laughs> Um, so today, I'm actually going to see about the house, the founder house that I'm setting up here. God, I'm so puffy in the morning. My face. And um, let's see, I gotta hang up the tent gear, dry it out. It'll be a sunny day today, so I'll be able to dry it all out. And then to figure out what we're gonna go to, I think we're gonna go to the beach.